Hello, my name is Efren Fernandez Grande from the Acoustic Technology Group at DTU, and I will briefly talk today about sound field analysis and measurement techniques, which is the area that I work in and do most of my research and teaching as well. Essentially, when we have an acoustic problem, it's very important to characterize it and be able to understand what are its fundamental properties. And a useful way of doing so is via advanced measurement methods. For instance, if we consider a noise problem, we can detect the regions of a source that are creating the noise and be able to act upon it to reduce the, um, to reduce the noise output. Also, in acoustic design problems where we want a um, desired sound, for instance, with a musical instrument or a loudspeaker, then we can actually better understand how this source behaves in order to have a better design. Also, in rooms such as concert halls or theaters, recording studios, etc., it is important to be able to characterize how this um, space is behaving acoustically. And also, for materials, it's useful to know how they are reflecting or absorbing sound, etc. The most direct way of measuring a sound field is with uh, measurements of the sound pressure, and even measuring at a single point can give us very useful information. There are, however, more advanced methods that make it easier to characterize the sound field. Let us consider, for instance, sound intensity measurement, and I brought a couple of probes here, like this one based on velocity measurements, or this one based on sound pressure measurements that make it possible to measure the sound intensity and visualize the flow of acoustic energy away from a source and identify the regions that are radiating strongly. There are other alternatives such as microphone array measurements in which we measure the sound pressure at multiple points in order to determine its spatial properties. This makes it possible, for instance, to localize sound sources, such as in this wind turbine noise problem or a rotating fan, in which by means of beam forming, we can point out what are the regions generating the noise. We can also use holographic principles to reconstruct the, the sound field on the surface of a source and therefore be able to um, determine how this source is injecting energy into the medium. There are other alternatives, such as spherical arrays, like the one that I brought here, that make it possible to distinguish waves traveling in any possible direction, and therefore are very useful for sound field analysis in enclosures, such as rooms or vehicle interiors. And even in fairly complex scenarios, such as in a reverberation room, be able to uh, characterize the sound field and understand the acoustic processes that are taking place. In summary, in this very brief introduction, we saw that uh, measurement techniques are very useful for addressing noise problems or acoustic design problems, as well as sound fields in rooms and, and enclosures. And it is a very brief introduction, but you are certainly welcome to contact me and also visit us at DTU, uh, where we have as well the measurement facilities such as the anechoic chambers, reverberation rooms and sound field re reproduction room. And I will be happy to discuss further. So thank you very much.